before going to our actual uh, discussion uh, you can subscribe my channel with the name of dr mohan kraskar at the red arts paper by clicking this red button the subscription gives you alert for addition of my new article uh, new videos into the youtube again you can uh, browse my blog that is rc paper pogmasi blogspot.in to get an academic content like presentations as well as the uh, practical lab notebook so here today uh, we are going to discuss the morphology microscopy of winka leaf so practical aspects of winka leaf we are going to see so winka is very popular herb which is growing in a garden as well as home garden it is native to europe but nowadays it is planted in india also in uh, indian traditional system this drug is known for its uh, anti diabetic property and because of that this drug has took into the research by certain industry and this industry while doing the research they come across with the two alkaloids that is vincristin and vinblastin which later on come to be known as the anti cancer molecules so these alkaloids they are distributed in whole herb that is root to the root and because of that the official part of the plant is whole herb of the plant catharanthus roseus belong to family of sinus so it's a small shrub herbaceous with a slender uh, thin stems which either in a green color or uh, which either in a pink color depending upon the variety then they on these stem they show the presence of leaf arrangement that is opposite leaf arrangement which has broadly woven at the terminal end or the apical ranges things there shows a simple flower which are five petals and these five petals join together to form a tube like structure and this is simple flower also known as periwinkle and so the synonym of the plant is periwinkle also then the fruits are uh, follicles twin follicle which is coming after the maturity or we can say pollination uh, develop into the twin folin uh, folli follicles which are dehiscent which after maturity get uh, breaks down as we are going to see the leaves morphology microscopy uh, so we are going to see in elaborate manner the morphological characteristic of leaf as in a morphological characteristic we usually used to see color odor taste sight shape extra feature as already mentioned that the part of the plant changes extra feature changes so here leaf so leaf specifically shows the extra feature like apex uh, the base venation the margin and presence and absence of pedicle so being in leaf category drug it shows a green in color odor is faint taste is bitter depending upon geographical and climatic zone it shows the varying in size and the shape is ovoid above ovoid oblong then extra feature apex the shows an acute apex and then venation is reticulate or pinnate venation it means a network of it forms a network of venlet all when emerging from the central midrib and they form a network base is a symmetrical ovoid presence of pedicle that is uh, the pediculate leaf or absence of uh, or it is it is not a sessile leaf then uh, we are going to see a ts of uh, transfer section of vinca before going to the transfer section of vinca we will see the general ts in general ts of the leaf the can be studied into two part one is lamina part which is nothing but a green blade of the leaf and midrib part which is nothing but the central vein which is running from lengthwise into the leaf so in the lamina part it shows presence of a cuticle which is a layer present above the epidermis epidermis are single cellulosic tightly arranged cells and then palisade cell these palisade cells are columnar cells it may be single layer double layer they show the presence of chlorophyll responsible for photosynthesis mesophyll it is made up of Uh, polygonal parenchymata cells with intracellular spaces and then again like an upper epidermis it shows the lower epidermis followed by cuticle then in the midrib region the epidermis is extended from the lamina region which is cuticleized and they show the presence of upper parenchyma and lower parenchyma parenchyma are nothing but an cellulosic uh, cells which are narrow lumen thick wall without intracellular spaces and these are responsible for mechanical strain at the center it shows bundles of vessels known as vascular bundle where it shows the xylem which are lignified and phloem which are non lignified so these are the xylem vessels specifically and phloems are co tubes then these this, these are the parts which found to be present in every leaf of the microscope microscopy of the every leaf then what is the difference over here where the different leaves differs so they differs in a presence of trichome it may be covering trichome glandular trichome then stomata there are five types of stomata diastatic stomata uh, so sorry there are different types of stomata so five types of stomata are there 
then presence of different size and shapes of calcium oxalate starch and cystolates cystolates is nothing but an calcium carbonate uh, containing cell then here the fibers it may be lignified fiber non lignified fiber or pericyclic fiber like things are present over here so this this make a different difference in the uh, different types of leaf then microchemical test as we have been mentioned that uh, the in the leaf there is an only one there is a bound to present one lignified cell that is xylem so the for the lignified cells the fluoroglucinol is a general tea uh, staining agent which in when mixed with the concentrated hcl1 as to when it gives pink coloration so this is a, uh, this this is used in every leaf microscopy as well as as, as i mentioned that the epidermis is cuticleized and cuticle shows the presence of cuticular wax so for the wax there is a another staining agent that is sudan red which gives a pink color so every leaf they can be stained with a two staining agent that is fluoroglucinol hcl and sudan red for presence of lignified cells or for staining the lignified cell and for staining the cuticular wax along with that it show the presence of uh, when it show the presence of starch then one can use an iodine when it show the presence of calcium oxalate calcium oxalates are crystals to confirm that crystals one can treat with an concentrated or dilute sso4 which which change in the crystal shape convert into calcium sulfate which are needle needle shape and thus it with this we can confirm the presence of the calcium oxalate crystal into the leaf or a transfer section of leaf and this is actual ts of the leaf uh, sorry for as it is a very faint one so here uh, this leaf can be divided into again two parts another one is lamina part we had made created by dotted line and at the center it is a midrib part so lamina part again as we already discussed earlier in the general ts it also show the similar characteristic that is upper epidermis then lower epidermis followed by a palisade cell then the mesophyll as in mentioned in the another video that when the upper palisade cells are only present and upper side it is known as dorsi ventral type of leaf when the palisade cells are present again above the lower epidermis then also uh, then it is known as isobilateral leaf as in vinca shows the palisade cell present just below the lower epidermis but it shows absence above the lower epidermis so it is a dorsi ventral type of leaf we discuss elaborately what is mesophyll and everything so then here it shows in at the midrib region it show the presence of the epidermis followed by the colon chyma two to three layer again a three to four layer colon chyma as i mentioned it is a tightly arranged uh, cellulosic thick wall narrow lumen cell and at the center it show the presence of xylem and phloem additionally what it consists of it consists of unicellular covering trichome which are dagger shape and here again an additional things are there that is in our lower as well as an upper epidermis they show presence of covering trichome another one it doesn't show the any ergastic cell content ergastic cell content means it doesn't show the presence of starch it doesn't show the presence of calcium oxalate so this is the ts of the leaf which divide of any cellular content so these are all air bubbles sorry for that then in powder characteristic as i mentioned there are only two characteristic which which make it differ that it doesn't doesn't show the presence of calcium oxalate and starch with it. so we are not going to be observed in this ts while the epidermis which show the presence of a specific stomata so that is anisocytic stomata so this is an anisocytic stomata this is a two guard cell and these are the subsidiary cells anisocytic stomata is also known as unequal stomata because here three guard two guard cells surrounded by three subsidiary cells of one one of these three is smaller than the two so one guard say sorry one subsidiary cells two subsidiary and third subsidiary cells so these subsidiary cells are smaller than this two and they, these epidermis is again specialized uh, specialized means here it is straight walled epidermis then it shows these xylem vessels again spiral xylem vessel which is sting like structure with the both open ends then it shows the presence of any cellular covering trichome i sketched it is not original one on dagger shape dagger shape means slightly curved and shape like a dagger okay so this is any cellular covering trichome then another pharmacognostic parameters we, what we used to be learn in practical that is chemical con constituents as i mentioned al already it consists of the indol alkaloid uh, the major is vin crystin and vinblastin the content is very very less that is 0.01% so if you extract one ton then we will get a one gram of the this alkaloid this alkaloids both they are useful as an anti cancer one is useful in leukemia another way, another one is useful in hodgkin's disease 
along with that this plant is known for the wound healing property also useful as in uh, the hemorrhoids uh, thank you for watching the video